headquarters. Yeah. Capture the objectives. Headquarters identified. Hey, y'all, just had to mute them right quick. Um, today we're going to talk about school. And school is a really hard topic because the simple fact is they have a lot of things that go into school. You have your you have your good people, you have your bad people, you have the people that just don't care about school. Um then I'm sorry, then you have your smart people. Um let's see where I'm at. I'm I'm the, I'm I'm smart, but I I'm, I also could have an attitude and be bad. But the thing about me for school is um I don't like people raising their voices at me. It's just like I don't know. I don't know if it's because my dad was in the military or whatever, but he screams a lot, and I just don't like that at all. So if you scream at me, you, we, it's not like we're going to have a big confrontation, but I'm going to tell you, hey, yo, don't scream at me, bruh. Oh, come here, boy. But, um, ooh, come here. Ah! Hit marker. But, um, I, I want to tell you, not, don't talk to me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, all right. I'm gonna give y'all uh, um uh example. We have this teacher at my school. Uh I'm not gonna put his name out. Cause they got people at my school that watch this video and they make sure. But uh they got this uh this uh teacher at my school. Me and him me and him cool but like he like okay, this is what happened the first time. Uh I was doing my work or whatever and uh he was like, uh, he came over, he was like, hey, be quiet. And I was like, I'm not even talking that loud. And then he was, he just started screaming. And I was like, hey, bro, you don't got to scream at me or whatever. And he was like, um, what do you say? He was like, I can scream at whoever I want. And I said, the hell you is? No, you're not, bro. So he, I got sent to the office. But the thing was, I really didn't get in trouble because he, he, he started screaming at me. And I don't like how teachers be like, well, you're the student. I'm just trying to make you, you know, just because I'm a student, that don't mean that I can, uh, that you can scream at me. Like they say in school, uh, what they say in school, treat others how you want to be treated. Ah, I only got one. They say treat others how you want to be treated. So, if I'm about to treat, if you're going to treat me screaming at me and getting an attitude, you're going to get the same thing back. But I, I can also be, I can, I can be a, a good person. I can be a, a good, um, a good student. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll be cool with you or whatever. But um, it's just, it's just that amount of disrespect that I just, you know, that 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 just gets to the boiling point that I just don't like. But uh, let's talk about something else that happens in school. A really big thing that happens in school is bullying. But I, I I don't get bullied because I just don't I don't I, I just don't get bullied. Um, let's see. Like I don't like when people when pe let's, let's see I'm gonna put this. I don't like how um when people bully people and I'm right there. To me that's like non cool at all because think about it. What happened if that's your sister or your brother? You know you know what I'm saying and uh and 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 they getting bullied. But they they didn't even ask to get bullied. Is it because of the way you look, or is it because of the clothes you wear? Some people can't afford the clothes that other people can wear, so you just can't get you know you you just can't get uh all let's see you just can't talk about somebody are just trying to be cool just because you know somebody uh somebody wearing like some let's see some usp or something. Changing. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I have my times where I talk about people and everything, but I grown over that. And I understand if you talk about, I understand if you talk, uh, talk about somebody because they got the people that were, you know, they they not all the fly or whatever, but um, they they they'll say something about you, and you'd be like, bro, you you can't, you don't have no room to talk. I understand that, but you know, just just coming out of nowhere and being like, man, you know what? Um, you know, you wearing this, you wearing that. No, that's not cool. Cause people are actually killing themselves over, over getting bullied. Just people are literally killing themselves every single day in America, just because they're getting bullied. And uh, I, I don't, I can't say I understand because I, I never got really bullied to the point to where I wanted to um, to where I wanted to kill myself. I um, let's see. Oh, snap, lag city. But, um, oh, come here, boy, headshot. But, um, like, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, 
Like, I never got, I, I, I can't relate to that because I never really got bullied to where I wanted to kill myself, but to me, life is, you, you have all your life. How you, how, you, how you don't know what you're going to do in your life? And you ended it early, bruh. Like, you could have been, you could have been a billionaire, you know. And what I'm saying is, I'm, they're going to have people in the world that do that all the time. They're going to have people that want to talk about you. And most of the people that talk about you, either they either they got bullied or they're just trying to be somebody that they're not. I know people that are just trying to be people that they're not, and it's like it's like people getting in gangs. I'm only I'm only in eighth grade. They got people getting in gangs and stuff, and that's not you ain't even about that yet. Like, come on now. I can understand if you was in tenth or something. I, oh, I can't understand at all why you were getting the gang, but bro, you in eighth grade. You only fourteen, cause. 14 and you and you talk about getting the game talk about shooting you talking about this just because you listen to uh Rick Ross and uh and Mick Mill don't think that you a thug cuz cuz you not you haven't really re you haven't really lived that life I'm I haven't lived that life either but I'm just saying I know family I, I got I got a cousin that got life right now and I, I understand I understand that you want to and she want to do this, she want to do that, but come on now, you got to pick the right choice. You got a whole family, just think about it. You got a whole family ahead of you. Come on now. Your kid can be, your kid or you can be the next president of the United States. And I'm serious. This is some serious stuff I'm talking about. But, you know, okay. <laughs> Let's just get off the topic topic and talk about grades. Grades is a really important thing. My attention span is very, very, very low. Sorry, y'all. My attention span is very, very low. The reason why my attention span is low is because I don't know. I just, I just, I just hop on different things too fast, and I don't be paying attention. But that's not an excuse to why, you know, why I shouldn't be, you know, sitting right there being quiet and learning. But to tell the truth, you, you, you gotta really, you gotta really make sure you, you can play, you can play or whatever, uh, in school or whatever. But you gotta make sure your grades, your grades right. Cause if your grades not right, then you gonna be stuck in that grade. You can play in that grade again. You just keep on failing. And that's not cool. You, you what you, 22 and what? 22 in the uh, 12th grade, that's not cool. You're supposed to be in college by now, cuz. That is not cool at all. So you gotta make sure your grades right. And and the thing the thing that's hard for me is homework. Cuz I come straight home, either I hop on the game or I'm going somewhere or I'm doing something. And it, I, I could, let me see how I can put this. It The reason why it's hard to me is cuz I got so much stuff in a, uh, I got so I ain't going to say I got so much stuff to do, but I got so much stuff to where it's distracting. I'll get home and go right to Netflix and start watching something. Because you got to understand, I've been at school for eight hours. Eight hours. That's a long time to be at school. That is a... Oh, come on, boy. Run up, get done up. <laughs> oh, come here, boy. He's gone. But um, back to what I was saying. Friendly health storm missile. That, that's... that's it's kind of hard if you got school then if you have like a basketball or a football after that's kind of hard too because you go when you come home you're gonna be tired first you gotta take a bath you're gonna be tired and I, I understand where some people coming from but you still gotta make sure them grades right because that them grades right then you shouldn't even be playing basketball or football that's one of the reasons why I didn't play basketball this year because last year my grades was not great at all I had like a 35. Yes, a 35. But now, like, since since I've been chilling out, you know, I, I stopped getting in trouble. I have, I have pretty much all A's and B's. But last year it was horrible. I was a horrible child last year. I had I had at least 59 write ups. Like that that is not cool. And I didn't. Let me see. I didn't understand that until like stuff started getting real. I had to go to summer school. I was um about to go to um to have turned to school. It was just a lot of stuff that I didn't think that was gonna happen. I didn't. 
I didn't think I think all this stuff was just gonna blow over and my mom was always like you need to grow out of this you about to go to high school you need to grow out of this and I just was like yeah 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 you know just saying all right mom okay I'm, but then you know you you don't want to see your mom sad and whatever you know because my mom worked really hard you know and she getting a phone call every day she shouldn't be you know she shouldn't need that oh good stuff I had flap jacket she shouldn't be needing that, you know, because she, she working just so, you know, so she can buy stuff for you, have, get school clothes for you, shoes and everything. So, you know, you should repay her by, you know, having good grades and uh doing good in school or whatever. And um, that's that's how you should repay, you know, repay your, your, your mom. That's all she really asking you for unless you need to clean up the house or something. That's all she really asking you for. And it's not that much. But we talking about the lady that gave that that carried you on her stomach for nine months. If you pretty much were probably eight, and you, but you know what I mean. Like she, she gave life to you. She didn't have to do that. She really didn't have to do that, but she did. So you you want to repay your mom's back? You know what I mean? Um, let's see the to the next topic we could talk about. Hmm. Transition. Friends, let's talk about friends. Don't let's see. Let's see how I can put this. Don't don't get with people that um that you that you think is gonna be a bad influence on your life. Like um like I have some friends that they they just don't care now. They do whatever they want now, you know. And I had to back away from them. And they like, what's up, Chase? And I'll be like, what's up, bro? But I don't, you know, I don't. I don't be like I don't be with them like I used to be. That's because I think I matured. I matured and uh, grew out of it. Is that a cat? No, that's not. That's a box. Give me that neck. But you know, you got you got to mature out of them people. Cause yeah, if you don't, then you gonna be stuck. You gonna be just like them people, felon and don't care about school. And you don't wanna do that. You just don't. And you need. And you can't tell your friends everything. I know you be having your best friends and all that. But you can't be telling all your friends all your business, cause trust me, friends gonna tell. That's not even a question. Friends are gonna tell. Like, oh god, I knew I was gonna do this. <laughs> ah, all right, but friends gonna tell. No matter what, friends are gonna tell. And you, you, you may have that friend and be like, trust me, I swear, I swear, I ain't gonna tell. They gonna tell. They be the main. They be the main people that be talking. The main people. So you know, you, you can't be telling all your business. And let's talk about like, when I say fake friends, like fake friends, you tell something and then they just go behind your back and they just talk about you. They have a lot of that at my school. Lord Jesus, they have a lot of that. You'll be like, oh, I don't like so and so. Oh, connection interruption. Somebody got that Starbucks connection. Come on now. Oh, he was just right there. But um, you gotta uh. Like okay, let me give you an example. If you be like, um, I don't like, I don't like, uh, let me see, if, let me find a ghetto name. I don't like Ranisha. And then they be like, all right, I swear I ain't gonna tell nobody. I, I bet you, as soon as it hits seven period, somebody gonna ask you. Oh, I heard that you don't like Ranisha. And you know you only turn that one person. You go ask them. Then that that's when the mess start right there. But I didn't tell. Okay, maybe I told one person. It's not like it's even that shit. To some people, they 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 that serious, and that's why I don't trust people these days. Cause you know who you don't know who gonna tell what, or you don't know what's gonna happen. But at the same time, I'm a straightforward person. If I can tell you something, that I can tell anybody else. Really, to tell you the truth, cause I I really don't close my mouth for nobody, and I know that's a bad habit of mine, but I think it just it just I think it was just the way the way I was raised, cause. My family, they don't, they don't hold nothing back. If they got something to say to you, they gonna say it. You don't gotta ask them twice. They gonna speak their mind, and that's bad. Oh, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, come here, boy. Oh, come here, boy. Through the wall. Can you call that a wall bang? Well, we got 26 seconds left, and you know we get, as y'all can see, we getting destroyed. I went 33 and 27. Um, 
and this is the first episode I'm doing of middle school slash almost high school stories and um, I think I'm gonna do more of this because it's pretty fun but we only got five seconds left oh <laughs> I just killed myself <laughs> but I see y'all peace